This video will guide you through the filling and bleeding procedures for Magura MT Next Disc Brakes. You can find detailed information about the tools you will need for this procedure in the video description. Preparation First, remove the brake caliper from the frame or fork using a Torx T25 tool. This will facilitate the filling or bleeding of the system later. To prevent contamination of the brake pads, remove them before starting and secure the pistons with the Magura transport device. To do this, first open the brake pad retaining screw with a Torx T25 tool and then remove the brake pads. Now, remount the pad retaining screw and slide the transport device into the brake caliper until it clicks into place on the screw. Prepare the syringe by filling it with Magura Royal Blood Mineral Oil. Before opening the bleed screw, hold the brake caliper above the master to avoid oil leakage. Use a Torx T25 tool to open the bleed screw. Then tighten the syringe with the hole on the adapter socket. Position the brake caliper below the brake master to facilitate bleeding. To mount the syringe on the master, first place it in a horizontal position. The EBT screw should be the highest point of the system. Now open the EBT screw with a Torx T25 tool and prepare the second syringe. Before inserting it, pull the plunger of the syringe over the hole at 30 milliliters. A simple plug-on should be enough thanks to the cone in the EBT opening. Now push the oil through the system from the brake caliper. Always hold the brake caliper in a vertical position during the bleeding process so that the air from the brake caliper can flow freely upwards through the line. And please make sure that you don't let any air into the system and that there is always oil in both syringes. Pull the oil back by pulling the lower syringe and repeat the procedure until no more air bubbles emerge from the master. During the procedure, pull the lever blade two to three times and let it snap back again to remove air pockets. After bleeding, remove the syringe from the master. To prevent oil leakage, Hold your thumb on the hole of the syringe at the 30 milliliter mark. To remove the syringe, push the plunger back over the 30 milliliter hole. Now, you can safely put the syringe aside and remount the EBT screw. Caution: Always use a torque wrench to maintain the maximum torque of 0.5 newton meters. To remove the syringe from the brake caliper, hold it above the brake master. This will prevent oil from escaping from the system. Raising and lowering the brake caliper in comparison to the master enables the easy adjustment of the oil level at the screw plug of the brake caliper. This ensures that no air is trapped in the system during closure. Now mount the bleed screw, maximum 4 newton meters. When you're finished, first clean the brake caliper thoroughly, then replace the pads. Thanks to the magnetic exchange technology, the pads are held in position magnetically. There's no need for a retaining clip. Mount the pads using the pad retaining screw and insert the brake caliper over the brake disc. Now, check the brake for safe functioning and align the brake caliper centrally above the brake disc. You'll find more information in the service section at magura.com or your local Magura dealer's shop. If you have very specific questions, we are also available for chats in our social media channels.